Good afternoon, everybody. Let me show y'all a little uh, DIY do it yourself trick that I have figured out. Now, my leather apron, my shop apron, it's a cheapo Harbor Freight. I've always had trouble with uh, the strap that goes around your neck. It gets hot, sweaty, digs in. And really bothers you. It bothers me. And it was too long, so I tied a knot in it. And that knot rubs on my neck. It really bothers me. So I had this. I did it in a short piece. But now I'm going to modify it a little bit. This is a piece of pipe insulation. Or half inch PVC pipe. Now it has the sticky backs in there. And all I did, I cut a piece big enough to go in here like this. Let's see, bear with me. We'll get it in there. Bend it around just like that. And we're going to cover just about all of it. Right, we we'll cut a piece off right about there. Like that. And go here and pull this plastic off. Pull it off here. All you gotta do is sort of touch it together like that. Let that glue stick together, stick to each other. It's like contact cement, I believe. Oops, missed a spot there. There we go, like that. Now, let's put it on and try it out. Put your apron on and tie it. Or hard to tie if you can't see. <laughs> For me, it is. You can't see what you're tying. Right, just about right. There we go. Now, you can wear your apron. Of course, not digging into your neck. It's nice and soft. Keeps it spread apart. Very comfortable. Uh, very easy, inexpensive fix. Just get that insulation. So this is for half-inch pipe. And it has the the adhesive already in there, just like that. Isn't that pretty cool. I thought so. Alright, now I'm going to show you all some clips of me and Scott Lee working on the boat uh, last week. Uh, we've got a lot done, we've got a lot more to do, we got some more things to try. Still having trouble getting it running, but um, it will run, we know that. So we'll work on it a little bit later on. I am swamped, swamped, busy. I've uh, been at it all day since daylight. Uh, this is, what's the day, Thursday? Saturday, road trip. 
me and the master sergeant have some business to take care of in North Alabama. We're going to run up there Saturday morning, uh, take care of that, and we'll take the camera with us and show it to you. And we'll be back Saturday night if all goes well. Which should should we're just going to do take care of one thing and then we're coming back. So. <laughs> Anyway, y'all enjoy the clips from me and uh, Scott. I hope you enjoy them. Me and Scott working on the boat. And I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm still here. I'm still working. I was just busy, 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 busy. I've got more stuff to do. And if I had five guys running around here helping me, I'd still have plenty of stuff to do. So uh, it's getting late in the afternoon. About time to go in and get something to eat. And I thank you all for watching very much. I thank you for your support. Hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you all later. Well, good afternoon, everybody. We're back on the boat project for today. Scott Lee could come over and help me. We have the new choke uh, actuator in. This is the other piece. We're still missing a piece of linkage that cannot be had. I'm going to make that do. Yeah, Scott is making a piece to go in there, fabricating so a piece. Time I get through grinding it all off and finish with it. This is going in that. And we'll go in there. And it'll go on that bottom carburetor. And it'll, I'm going to drill a hole up here where that this piece right here, when it comes down, will come through and catch in that. I drill a round hole, two little slots on it like that. I put it in at that angle where it won't fall out. And yep. almost finished. Ain't like that. Yep, we already tested the choke, it works. Yep. We just he just had to build that piece of linkage there. Yep. And that's built out of a piece of stainless. Stainless steel that and I had already. Right off an old Chevy old uh, old Chevy car, Dodge car, or something, I can't remember but I hope it wasn't off a of Dodge. Yeah, it, it won't run, ever run. This thing run backwards. <laughs> it come off Chevrolet. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah it's off from Chevrolet. <laughs> All right. And another update: the throttle and transmission linkage problem is fixed. I don't even know if I want to tell y'all what we did, what we had been doing for what two days we spent on it. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Yeah, it was yeah. like ragu. It's in there. Well, I'll tell you what we did. We had the cables reversed. Yeah. Turn it back around the other way. Yeah. I was up all night the other night on the, some of the mercury sites. Yeah. Uh, finally found some information on the control, the merc control that I've got. Yeah, we was moving the wrong control and wrong contr and cables are on the wrong place. Uh, well, they don't this, tell you which one they fit either. Yeah. Now this morning it took what 15 minutes, and we, it was done. 15 seconds. All we did was swap cables, and there we go. Yep. It's all that should be all good. Yeah, this is this is coming along. This is all looks good. You ever got to do your plastic dip on this? Yeah, yeah, I'm still gonna do that. No, we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes. I might wanna we might wanna modify just a little bit. But okay. I'll see what you think first. Yeah. But we're coming right along. Hopefully this afternoon, before dark, we'll get her fired up. Yeah, boy, I'll do too. Well Arthur's in this cool weather's got Arthur upset. Yeah, I know. It was 40, I think 45 here this morning. Yeah, it was cold this morning. That's cold for us Florida boys. Yeah, this time of year. Even for the transplants. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> yeah, the Tennessee guys, <clears throat> people say, oh, you're from Tennessee, you're used to it. I don't know. I moved down here to get away from it. Yep. <laughs> I do not like cold. All right. Show well, them the solenoid thing up there. Yeah, yeah, show them we got the new solenoid in. We're gonna take this off. This don't even need to be on there now. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We'll keep on a building, and then we'll show it to you here in just a little bit. Show it to you working. All righty. The choke linkage is built. I tell you, this guy can build anything. Let's see it in action. All right, you ready to see it? Yeah. Yeah. Hit it one time. There we go. 
a little bit tied up top. Just that's those little cotter pins. That's the cotter pins. Got to get those get squared away. Where they don't touch, catch. That is the old Chevrolet truck linkage. Some stainless steel and some ingenuity. <laughs> hey, I had to make stuff all my life. Yep, so that is going to work. I guarantee you. Now we're going to button up everything. Uh, I think Scott's going to make a little adjustment here and there with them cotter pins. And. Not them right with them. They're just kind of catching there. Yep. Them. The carburetor. They need to be bent around a little bit. We've got a couple of more small things to do. I've got new fuel lines and all that stuff from the tank to the motor. And we're going to cut those to size and get all that done. Then we're going to pull it out of here, I think. Back it off on the other side of the shop. Yeah. We can hook the water to it so it don't make such a mess. And we're going to see if we can get her to go. Sound good to you? Sound good to me. And there's all kind of cosmetic stuff I got to do, but yeah. that's no big deal. Oh, yep, that shifter's, that's jammed up now. Yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. 